Electronic cigarettes are of concern because they have the potential to introduce people to conventional cigarettes. By starting out with electronic cigarettes, there is concern that these people will go on to use conventional cigarettes, which is associated with very high risk. And then the other end, there's also concern that people who have quit cigarettes for a long time go back to using nicotine by using electronic cigarettes, potentially putting them at risk for relapsing back to conventional cigarettes. They haven't been shown to be any more effective than traditional agents for helping people quit smoking. There is an increasing body of literature talking about the risks associated with electronic cigarettes. And it's not just delivery of formaldehyde. It, it's, it's also related to some of the flavoring agents that are in the liquid or the e-juice that electronic cigarettes use to deliver the nicotine. A lot of those additives or flavoring agents could potentially cause cancer. They are not safer for people with uh, underlying lung disease. In fact, the, the data shows that it may actually make the situation uh, worse for them because it, it can increase airway hyperreactivity. I think we need to be very clear as clinicians that these electronic cigarettes have an unknown safety profile. They're not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. They are not regulated by good manufacturing practices, and they're not any more effective than the medications that we currently prescribe for the treatment of tobacco dependence. I would not recommend that any clinician recommends these products for the treatment of tobacco dependence.